Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you a bag tag that I created for the Concordia Academy dance team for the bags that we're going to be giving out to everyone who comes to support Cards for a Cause on August 15th. Today is the last sign up day, so if you are local, you're welcome to give me a call or an email and I will make sure that you um, have a spot at our fundraiser. And so, of course, all of the people that come to the fundraiser get to make 14 cards. I'll be sharing some of those with you later on. But today, I want to share with you the bag tag that we're making. So this is the bag, and there's the cute little tag that we're making. The stamp set that I chose to use is called Be The Star. It's a great stamp set going into fall with all of the back-to-school things that we do for our kids. And of course, one of those back to school things is, is supporting the different teams. And so this makes a great little um, team tag for when you need to send out goodie bags or something to all the members of a sports team. And you could do something like this. And so you can, do, of course, do it in the school colors. So Concordia Academy has kind of a cucumber crush um, green with their with their school so I've used that and then because I am using a craft bag I went ahead and used very vanilla paper it wasn't quite such a contrast as the whisper white and of course while I was making these tags I thought oh my goodness wouldn't it be cute to make a card with the same tag and so here is the very cute little card I made it uses all of the same stamping that I did on the on the bag tag, except I put it on a sweet little card. So let's go over to the stamping table and I'll show you uh, how to create these two items. Hi, and welcome to the crafting area of the video. And so here we go, making this cute little card. So great to give to a kid that's just going off to school. And then also the tag for the bag. And I love this, it's so easy to put together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that you're going to need, of course, is the tag. And to create the tag, I used my Big Shot machine and the deco labels. I used the very largest deco label, and I used a piece of scrap very vanilla cut at 4 by 4 and 3 fourths. I just layered it up on my magnetic plate. So I have the magnetic plate, one of the cutting plates, my scrap vanilla, and then of course the very largest deco cutter. And I ran it through my Big Shot machine. Now I did take the liberty of doing that in advance so that I have my tag cut out and ready to be stamped. So let me set this aside and let's get stamping. So the first thing that I did is I put my star on a block D. Then I'm going to use some Cucumber Crush ink, and I am going to ink up that star. Now you'll notice on the bag that all of the tags are oriented this way, but when I did my, my initial star stamping, I want to orient the tag so that this little circle part faces me. That helps me know that I'm going to have the star stamped exactly where I want it for the sentiment that's going to appear in the upper right hand corner. So I'm inking up my star and I'm just going to set it right onto the deco label. And I have two of the legs facing me and then of course the two arms going out to the east and the west and then the tip of the star is going off to the north. So I'm just going to press that and lift. And now the star is perfectly aligned so that it kind of faces to this direction when you hold it up like a tag. And then I have a nice little spot here for my sentiment. Now one of the things that I love about this stamp set is it has some little smaller stars that you can nestle into the big star. So I'm just going to ink up those smaller stars and you'll notice that the shape of it even is a little bit of the inner corner of the star. It sort of replicates that shape. So it's just begging to be stamped right here up in that little corner area of the star. So I'm going to do that on four sides because of course this side I want to leave blank for my sentiment. So just one more little stamp of all these little scattered stars and there it is. And now I just need to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to stamp Be the Star right up here in this spot right here and there it is and it's so cute I just love it so here it is and then to give it just a little bit of bling 
we're going to take the itty bitty punch pack that's a three pack of punches it comes with this flower that i use like all the time it looks so cute with a pearl or a little diamond in there and then of course the ever ready heart you always need a heart and a star and so what i did is i took some little scrap gold glimmer paper and i just punched out a star and then i added a glue dot so I've got my glue dots here and I just lay the star right on top of the glue dot that I want to use. Then I take my paper piercing tool. I'm just going to lift it up and then I can just put that star on here. And I like to get it so that the little edges of the stars meet up with the edges of the bigger star. So it's just a the little star is just a reflection of the big star. So there is the completed tag. Now to put it on our bag, all we need are a couple of dimensionals. So I have my pack of dimensionals here, and I'm just going to flip this over. I'm just going to use two dimensionals right here at the top of the tag. Then I get my craft bag, and you can buy these craft bags at lots of different craft stores, or you can buy them in bulk. I have a couple of big events that I do each year, so I like to buy them in bulk, and one of the places that I go to buy them in bulk is called Uline. And so I can leave a link for that along with the exact number. And you purchase them, I believe I get 250 in one carton. And so that usually lasts me, well, not quite a year. I find that I'm ordering these bags about every nine months or so. So here is my Cucumber Crush ribbon. This is our dotted lace ribbon in our in colors for 2015-17. And I actually have a package, it's called Dotted Lace Trim, and I have a package I can. Um, that's part of my ribbon shares, and so I'm getting up another bundle of ribbon shares to send out. So if you'd like to be on that, it's $18 if you pick it up locally, or it's $21 if I ship it to you. But um, you get a, two and a half yards of each of the in colors for this year. So now what I do is I just, I just thread that ribbon in here, and I just am gonna make a loop make another loop and then I'm tying it right off the roll so that I don't have any waste and we're just going to get that all pretty sometimes it takes longer to do the ribbon than it does to do the tag but we're almost there and there we go we have a really pretty little ribbon for our bag so I just need to get my ribbon scissors and give that a bit of a trim And our bag is ready to be filled with projects for Cards for a Cause. So there is the bag. So I'm going to set that aside, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the card. Here is the card, and I'm not even going to stamp this for you because you already saw how I did that. So I have an extra one ready to go. So I'm just going to go over the assembly instructions for how to create this card. Such a great gift for a kid going off to school. So here we have our very vanilla sheet of paper. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and one fourth. So all I'm going to do is just fold on the score line. I'm going to use my bone folder so that it gets a nice crease there and it will lie flat while we work with it. The next panel is Cucumber Crush. This is cut at four by five and one fourth. And the next layer over that is some of our fancy foil vellum paper. This is cut at three and three fourths by five inches. And so I'm going to adhere that to the cucumber crush layer. So I'm just putting some, some adhesive on the back. I don't need to worry about exactly uh, hiding it because there's going to be a big tag over the top of it. So I can just press this down. And then we can take a layer or a little strip of our cucumber crush dotted ribbon and we are going to tape that down. So I'm going to lift that about one inch from the bottom and then I'm just going to tape that around on the back so that it stays secure. And we'll do that to the other side. And now we are ready to adhere this to the front panel of our card. So again, I'm just going to use a little bit of snail, and then we can go ahead and set this right on, centered into the front panel of our card. 
So that part of the card is done. Then we're going to take the completed tag part of the card and we're just going to add some dimensionals. So once you have your dimensionals on, you just flip it over and you are going to center that exactly in the middle of this card, just like so. And your card is complete. So there it is. Here's the cards that I made for you. And here are the bags. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. If you would like to learn more, always be sure to visit my blog. It's at www.stampingtoshare.com. I'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator if you don't already have a demonstrator. And there are links there to a couple of the different things that I talked about as well as to my online store. Have a great day. I truly, truly appreciate you. Bye-bye.